begin to walk for us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Possibilities are things that are feasible. They are things that are practicable. They are attainable. They are achievable. They are potentials, potentially they are, you know, you, you can go on and on using various synonyms. They are opportunities that have used those terms. They are considerable. If you can consider it, you can get it, you can actualize it. So today we are actually introducing this series as it's we are. And of course, you know how they look about you with us once the subject comes. All that subsequent will go between us particular words and we keep expanding until of course we finish the series. So I want to join you to join with us this time. We keep you know uh, time with us, you know, and 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 we we we, we actually have a lot to gain in this service. I can tell you that it's loaded. And please make sure that you are a partaker of what that is being said. Don't be a listener only. Also be a doer. Because as the word is coming, the Holy Spirit will be telling you what you need to do in your own situation. I talk about domestication. And so don't just hear the word and as if the pastor preacher, no. Hear the word and ask God, what am I to do now? What will I do? What am I supposed to do? Tell me, Lord. God will tell you. He will show you. That is God himself. He will show you. If you ask in sincerity that, God, what are the possibilities that I have not noticed? The ones I have noticed, what, are, what can I do about them? God will give you the answers. Amen. Amen. Child of God, you will succeed. Amen. I say you will succeed. Amen. The Lord of heaven will open your eyes to see that which you can do. Amen. That which is available inside of you, God will bring you to manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. But we're not going through the scriptures because, uh, I, I, like I said, we're, we're only introducing the series today, but there are one or two scriptures that I would like us to look at so that we can put them in context to the theme of this month, of the theme of the series, and then we will begin to rank up. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 13. And the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Theologians have 
have uh, you know, uh, said that maybe this particular vision was given during the day. Because he's telling him, you know, uh, he looked, you know, the way he was coming, it's like, of course, you know, probably he said this is during the day. Because by 15, chapter 15, the scripture we're going to read, also like it was when he was in the night, because now thought about looking at the stars. So this one he was looking, you know, westward, northward, eastward, you know, and then talking about looking at the ground. So he assumed that it was during the day, but that's not where we're headed. That's not the point. That's not the point. Hallelujah. What, what is happening here is that. God was talking to Abraham even when Abraham never had any land of his own. Remember that he has been brought out. God has asked him to come out from his father's land, from his mother's land, and to a place that he was going to show him. So at this point, Abraham cannot lay claim that this is my own land. But yet, God was telling him that let him look northward, let him look southward, let him look westward, let him look eastward, that whatever he can see, that God himself will give him to possess. Praise God. Praise now, you can look at this scripture from the physical point of view as if he was using his open eye, naked eye, to look at it. But another side of it is to look at it from the spiritual point of view. You're talking now about your imagination, your thoughts. You're not talking about the physical eye now. You're seeing from the mind. You're not seeing from the physical eye. You're not seeing what God is showing you what is possible. Not that you're looking at it as I'm looking at, you know, Somebody sitting in front of me now. No. It is, you can stay in your, in your room in Nigeria and you can imagine your life in, in any part of the world. Let's assume that that's what God wants to do. That's what God is saying you to. You, you don't necessarily have to see it physically, but your mind's eye, your spirit, you know, your, your mentality is, is seeing the possibilities. So, whereas at this time, Abraham cannot lay claim of any land as his own, cannot lay claim, of course, there is no child, nobody is talking about a child here, but give, the vision has been given that, that if he looks at the ground, he can number the sand. Do you, do you see the possibility that God is trying to? He said to Abraham that this is how, not how, your, how numerous your children will be to a man that doesn't have any child at the point in time God was speaking to him. Of course, that's the talking to you because today you and I are children of Abraham by covenant, by saying we are children of God, by believing in Jesus. So we are not spiritual children of Abraham. You can imagine how long ago this happened. Praise God. Today, anybody that is born becomes a Christian, you are a child of Abraham by promise, by covenant. So God is pushing to what is possible. God exposed him to what is achievable. And you and I know that he came to reality and he's still coming to reality as we speak. As long as there's resistance, as long as people are being born, as long as people are getting born again, we have not that image of Abraham. We can say that Abraham is our father. That's why we also see that Abraham blesses our mind. So that is what possibility can do. It opens you up. It opens you up to what you can achieve. It opens you up to what you can become. It opens you up to what you can do. How you can serve God. How you can serve humanity. How you can improve your lot. How you can affect your family. You don't have to now look at your current circumstances and then that becomes your definition. Because if Abraham were to look at his current situation when God was talking to him at this point in time, he would not say that he is just that he doesn't have any children, he doesn't have any land. But God needed to open his eyes, God needed to show him what is possible. What is your situation right now? You that is listening to me. Where are you in life and destiny? Do you want to define yourself by that circumstance alone? Or are you seeing the possibilities of God? Are you seeing what God can do through you and by you? Can you look beyond your current circumstances, whether good or bad? There's always a room for improvement. So I don't even care whether you think that you're in your comfort zone. I don't, I don't even bother if you think that all is okay. Yeah, you can eat and you can drink, you can go, you can come. Alright? There is also a room for improvement. We never can do all that we can do. 
That's why if you have a car today, concept is a new model, whatever brand is called, it's very nice, very powerful, people are happy to drive it. Next six months, one year, the manufacturer will come into another model. Why did they stop on the other way? That's why some cars that ran 10, 20 years ago, when you see them now, they are like um, museum or the, but when they came out, they were like talk of the town. I might say something. So the manufacturer, the designer, they never rested on their cars. There's always a possibility. They also they, they always switching one thing or the other. We're making improvements, make so that you know the next one that comes out will be better than the other one, either by futures, either by what is packaged with, either with what it contains, whatever. But you now know that there's a difference between this one and the other one. Meanwhile, it's the same kind. So God told Abraham, look to the north, look to the west, look to the south, look to the east, as far as you can see. Child of God, what are you seeing? There is a place of sin. And this sin I've told you must not necessarily be physical eyes. It's not even physical eyes. Let me not let me just put it there. Your imagination.